possible KGB profile of Barack Obama's and his health as we follow Obama's presidency. You see that Obama likes official comforts as if Obama is still a college professor of the office. The convention hall, the meeting, the vacations, the classroom atmosphere, the seminars, the friendly confines of an office, we sincerely doubt if Obama has ever dreamed of mastering the manly sports, hunting wild game, crossing the great American plains, taming the wild rivers. Obama has never dreamed of testing himself against the wilds of nature, as most men do. In short, Obama is a sissy, he will never be at the front lines with his soldiers. Rather, only watch from a TV screen, in short. His wasteful programs reflect a nanny state image of what government should be. American people and 80% of American white men would prefer a Putin-type masculine leader rather than a sissy Obama as President of the United States. This alone will explain why American military will have trouble during Obama's leadership. Terrorist states can emerge as he will feel he can convince them of his platforms as a professor. Commands the ideology of his students. In his negotiations with terrorists, they will extract huge concessions as Obama fools himself with his narcissistic self-images of a tough negotiator. They will treat him like strong American leaders of past in dealing with American savages. Giving up a worthless trinkets for huge rewards such as trading a traitor, Private Bergdahl, for five top Taliban leaders. He will allow the Iranians a nuclear bomb and grant easing of sanctions for virtually nothing in return. All Russian leaders need to know about dealing with Obama is that he will talk himself out of his position into his adversary's position if one merely applies pressure followed by a period of relaxation of tensions. He will assume he is convinced his adversary and then offer more concessions. Barack Obama likely suffers from a life-threatening throat condition which mirrors acid reflux. The clinical definition of acid reflux is a condition in which the stomach contents flow back up from the stomach into the esophagus causing such symptoms as heartburn and sore throat. In reality for Obama, it means Obama has regurgitated so many times after eating pork products that he appears to now suffer from an irritated throat. We heard that Obama got a fiber optic exam of his throat and since swelling was detected, doctors decided to perform a CT scan as well. It is reported to have been normal. There are many risk factors for acid reflux, including smoking, use of alcohol and hiatal hernia. According to the medical specialists, we know Obama is a drinker. Obama likely sneaks a smoke now and then and likely throws up each time he eats pork to prove that Obama not a Muslim. This is likely why Barack Obama is bulimic and keeps that sissy physique by barfing up his pork he eats. Possible outcomes for Obama perhaps Michelle will choke him in the throat. After catching him eating pork, the throat would likely be a good place to abuse him. If she didn't want the bruising to show, she will likely be his downfall. She will not stand by her man as Hillary Clinton did for Bill Clinton. These are the hose reels that hunters brought to Highland Hill Farm to hunt for a day last year. We used them to roll up our drip irrigation lines in our fields so that we can reuse them. The hunters brought us a hose reel to hunt for the day. And they could hunt deer, turkeys, groundhogs, rabbits, doves, you know, just not our foxes. This year our hunting special is if you bring us a 6 by 6 by 12 foot pressure treated locust or cedar fence post you can hunt for the day if you get a deer you get three more free days if you get two deer in any part of the season you get to hunt for free for the rest of the season and I pay you twenty five dollars so once again this year we have another special going but this year it's for 
fence posts. So if you want a haunted Highland Hill farm, we do appreciate you coming, and we do have lots of deer. In fact, yesterday I saw an eight-point buck. It was not a big-bodied buck, but an eight-point buck, and it was only like 25 feet away, so they're nice and friendly. So you can stick them with an arrow or hit them with a hammer. It doesn't matter. Just give us a call at 215-651-8329. This video is brought to you by Highland Hill Farm. We grow and sell screening and buffering trees for privacy and sound barriers.